I cleaned up my shop yesterday, which was an amazing event because I didn't plan it. I, I knew what I was going to do today. I was going to start building my new clamps and I brought a piece of my uh, nice ash out. I selected a really nice piece and I was looking around and I was saying, you're not going to be able to make a good video here, John. It's just too messy. So I started cleaning it up and this end of the shop looks pretty reasonable. That end of the shop down there, not so much because there's a lot of clutter in here. I talked about building a new shop when I first came here. Like this was a garage and the idea was to return it to being a garage after I build a new shop up behind my house. And that idea kind of went by this wayside when I got deep into my renovation there and I got tied up with that and uh, I got to thinking that do I really want to take on another big project like that? So I shifted that idea from building new to building on. I was going to extend the front of this garage out closer to the road and that would become an addition to the shop and also a new one car garage because I currently don't have a place to park anything sitting out there getting buried in snow. So there are pros and cons to both, you know, scenarios. I don't really think that one would be a lot cheaper than the other. If I were to build a new shop out back, it would be roughly the same size as the addition to this garage that I would build out here in front. So there's nothing really there. Now, the space I would have would be different though. If I build onto this, I've only, I would only have an area of roughly 10 by however long it is, maybe 20 or 22. So an extra 220 square feet on this shop here. And it would be out towards the side there where my compressor uh, cabinet is currently that would have to come out and I would you know open that area beside the scrap wood cabinet there the whole area beside that would open up but if I were to build new out back I could build it in the way that I think would be most efficient for a shop I have uh thought about this over and over again every time you know I get to you know out here cleaning up mostly so when I'm cleaning up I realize how small this place is and how I don't have I don't have the space to put anything like I, I'm building the jointer there and I don't have any place to put it not really I said I was going to be beside the saw so I moved it over here yesterday and even if the saw went over that way enough to clear the space between the miter saw, uh, the, like the miter cabinet and the table saw, it still would be really tight and it would be less than, you know, ideal to use it. And it's not like I have uh, spaces here where I can roll it out of the way and get it out of the way. One of the bigger problems I have here is wood storage. Currently, I have a lot of stuff against this wall over here. And I've got some sheets of plywood down there in a plywood storage tank. If I could get those out of here, that would free up a little bit of space. Also, I have a lathe set up over there that I really don't use that much. And I have my belt grinder down there, which would work better in another, like my idea was to change my shed out there into kind of a metal place, a place where I could do metal working stuff. So I moved my steel table out there and the idea was to move the belt grinder out there, but I'm a little bit concerned about how it's not heated out there at all. And it gets really hot during the summer and it gets, well, just as cold it is as it is outdoors during the winter. And that brings up another thing. You know, I mentioned in my, my videos that I use polyurethane construction adhesive because it's cold here in my shop. And it is cold for, but it's cold for wood glue. It's not cold, it's not cold, cold. I heat the shop. There's a heater in here, it's right over there. And uh, it. I have a thermostat set to five. I've made all this before, so it sounds like I'm repeating myself. But one thing that about doing this is that 
you know, when you're making, when you're doing these kinds of videos, you kind of expect the audience to be familiar with what you're talking about. So you tend to repeat yourself over and over again, and you tend to get the same comments over and over again. So if you've heard this, all this shit before about the shop being heated up to five degrees, you have to forgive me, it's for the people that have not heard that or don't know about it. So yeah, the thermostat is over there, heats the shop up to a constant five degrees. Now today, while I'm out here doing the clamps, I'm going to turn the heat up. I'll probably turn it up to 10 degrees. And that's so I'll be a little bit more comfortable in, out here. It's not that it's uncomfortable now. I can work. No problem. Uh, and I'll be able to use that wood glue that I want to use. Okay, so the build-on scenario gives me an extra 220 square feet, roughly. It depends upon how far I can go with this building, how close it can get to the road. That's the other issue. I don't know if I'll get approval for it. So I can't really, you know, say. I do know that I can build something out back here, basically any size that I want. I don't want to go too big, though, because that's the beauty of a small shop like this. It's, first of all, it kind of forces you to organize your stuff better, which clearly hasn't worked that well for me, but it's getting there. It's getting there, okay? Uh, the other thing is that it's easy to heat. I've got a single 2000 watt heater in this shop and it has no problem taking care of that. And it doesn't cost a fortune. You know, I get a lot of comments about why don't you use a wood stove? Well, where, the, where would I put a wood stove in here? Uh, space is always an issue. If I haven't got room for tools, then I, I definitely don't have room for a wood stove. Also, what would I burn? I mean, I don't generate enough scraps here, not even close. I don't generate enough to keep this shop heated up. So then I'd be in a situation where I would have to buy wood and store it and lug it in and get the stove burning early in the morning because it would take time for the fire to get going. And it still wouldn't be as effective as that heater over there because the heater keeps the shop at a constant five degrees, whether I'm in here or not. And that's not really a problem. It's not expensive. But if uh, the whim takes me to come out here and do something, I can actually work in this temperature, not a problem. And then, you know, work for an hour, leave it, go back in the house, whatever. And that's not an issue. Whereas a wood stove, you have to come out, light that. It actually takes a serious amount of time before that heats up enough to heat up the shop. And then it, at that point, in a shop this size, you might be getting too warm. So you have to let that die down, let it come back up. Let it, I've done the wood stove thing before. It's not, it's not fun, okay? Anyway, I got off track there talking about wood stoves and heat and all that. Uh, the basic idea is that I want a place that's big enough to put everything in comfortably, but not too big that it's difficult to heat. So I was thinking somewhere along the lines of something that's roughly twice the size of this. Now this is 13 on the inside here. It's 13 feet wide and it's 26 feet long. So if I were to have 26 by 26 or even 24 by 24, you know, you widen that out. It gives you more, you know, clearance. You have your table saw in the middle. You have stuff over there stuff over there you got space to walk between it really opens things up and insulation is where i would really concentrate on a new shop build it would be a slab on grade it would have insulation underneath the slab between the slab and the ground and it would have thick perimeter insulation around it and i would put put pex heating tubes in that slab to heat the slab up. And that would be the source of heat. A single residential water heater, the tank type, would do that, would heat that entire shop, and it would keep it at a constant temperature, very much like it is in here. Also, I would put lots of insulation in the walls and tons of insulation in the ceiling. 
that kind of thing. That's what I would be shooting for. A really super insulated, efficient building that wouldn't cost a fortune to heat. Okay, it probably sounds like I've got my mind made up on which one I'm going to be doing, but that's not the case. I haven't ruled out either. You know, I build on or build new. My preference would be to build new and then convert this back into a garage. And all that's involved in that is just to take everything out and put a new garage door in the front there. And I'll have a perfectly uh, uh, good place, not only to park, you know, when this, the weather is shitty out like it is today, but also a place to do metal work. I could kind of section off the back end of this shop here and put my belt grinder and other stuff there. And I could actually close it in a little bit and heat it as well because the insulation is already there and the ceiling and all that stuff. I would only have to insulate this wall back here to make it really efficient. Yeah.